In this problem, we'll introduce the idea of the payback period as a method of analyzing engineering economics problems. As you'll see, the payback period method of analysis violates some of the basic rules of the time value of money calculations. So for instance, we ignore interest as one. The other thing that we do is that we perform calculations on dollar amounts that occur at different points in time. And we're not really supposed to do that. Remember, when we do other time value of money calculations, we can only add and subtract or even compare numbers if those numbers or those dollar amounts occur at the same point in time. Otherwise, it's not a valid comparison. But in the payback period method of analysis, we sort of suspend our belief in those rules uh, in favor of a, a, a simple way of approaching engineering economics analysis. So uh, I encourage you to uh, pause the video, read this problem, and when you're ready to see the solution, restart the video. So in this problem, uh, we learn that uh, we're, the, the project involves the construction of a bridge. And the construction of the bridge has a first cost uh, equal to $65 million. Okay, so uh, a fairly expensive piece of civil infrastructure. So this will be a cost, but we also learned that the bridge will generate revenue because it is a toll bridge. And we know that from the problem, the toll is going to be $12 per vehicle, I'll just say um, per vehicle. We also can estimate the traffic at 5,000 vehicles per day. And the other thing we have to take into account for this problem is that we'll have some operating and maintenance costs. So these will be costs. And we'll assume the operating and maintenance costs are 20% of the toll revenue. Okay, so. Um, and that, that may be because the amount of maintenance that we do is somehow related to the amount of traffic on the bridge, but uh, kind of makes sense. It doesn't really matter too much for the purpose of this problem. So let's just take a very simple view of the revenue from this construction of this bridge. So let's say, uh, let's do the annual revenue, so the annual revenue for the bridge will be, let's just call it A, R. Annual revenue is going to be equal to our $12 toll times our daily estimate of 5,000 vehicles times 365 days in the year. So we multiply that out and we get 21 million nine hundred thousand as our annual revenue from tolls. Now we can also calculate our annual operating and maintenance cost. The annual operating and maintenance costs call this uh, is essentially the 21 million nine hundred thousand times our 20 percent we got over here and that number is four million three hundred and eighty thousand so if we have an annual revenue of 21.9 million uh, annual operating and maintenance costs of 4.38 million we can calculate the net annual revenue 
is going to be equal to simply the 21, 9 minus the 4.3. So our net annual revenue is 17520000 Now I haven't used any engineering economics to calculate this. This is just reading a word problem and calculating uh, some numbers. Pretty straightforward. Where the payback period method of analysis comes in is really all we're going to do is take our first cost and divide by the annual revenue to figure out how many years, remember this is annual revenue, so that would give us the number of years it would take for this bridge to pay for itself. And if you do that, um, so we just say, we'll call it the payback period is going to be equal to 65 million divided by 17 million 520 thousand and that gives us 3.71 years so the payback on the construction of this bridge can be estimated at 3.71 years. Not a very uh, engineering economics time value of money or not a very finance type method of analysis. It is valuable as a method of analysis in engineering economics because for short payback periods, one, two, three, four years, and if interest rates are low anyway, the amount of effort it takes to calculate a number or to compare two projects is, is, as you can see, almost nothing. It's no effort. And the other good thing about the payback period is that it's easy to explain to people who don't have any education in finance or engineering economics. So although it may seem overly simple, there is some value in learning uh, how to do the payback period method of analysis for projects.